Hello there. Welcome back to another episode of Rule the Waves 2 is Great Britain. It seems like our war with the United States is never coming to an end. We have absolutely smashed their navy, but they still have ships and they still keep coming. So I guess we're going to have to keep on fighting. Alright, quick review. Uh, we have uh, brand new Lance class destroyers that are in ready for deployment. So I'm actually going to start moving these ships overseas. So we'll grab those and send those to the East Coast. Get some of them fancy Lance class destroyers out there. Our Gurkhas have been doing outstanding service in the Caribbean. Most of them are now up to elite experience levels, but they've also suffered some pretty heavy losses. The once mighty class has reduced to 24 ships. Oh man, they've taken so many losses. Alright, but we have some fancy new destroyers that should be able to start getting some good action there too. So we might actually shuffle things around a little bit and put some of these Lance class destroyers on the front lines. Or not, I'm actually not seeing a whole lot of difference in terms of armament between these, aside from the uh, speed and possibly fire control. Let's take a look at that. Yeah, these Gurkhas are rocking a central rangefinder, whereas the Lances have director fire control. So that is a significant difference right there. So maybe it is worth bringing the Lances down, see what sort of damage they can do. All right, uh, in other words, in other news, sorry, most of our capital ships, major capital ships, are undergoing repairs. So all three surviving Iron Dukes are in the yards for repairs, along with one of our Goliath-class ships. So we got some repairs to do there, but we still have two of our Titan-class ships, the Ineluctables ready and available and we also have two more on their way back so they're currently in the west coast and they should be back to the caribbean next turn yeah there we go they should be there next turn and then our other battle cruisers continue moving overseas to cover the southeast asian theater so we'll provide good cover there all right, oh, I almost forgot. For a second time, I needed to change my doctrine because we needed all AP on our major guns. We'll drop that up, there we go. 100% AP for all guns, 11 inches plus. We're gonna save changes there. We're gonna check that float plane search priority so we stop wasting uh, seaplane scouting. All right, now that's all set. I think we will also grab the other Maxton from the East Coast and bring her down so she can start gaining experience too. And we can concentrate a little bit more firepower in the Caribbean. So we'll move the Samantha down and get so, and double our torpedo bombing capability there. So that'll be nice. All right. Well, I think that about covers things here. We still have two more giant battle cruisers under construction. We've got more light cruisers on order. Obviously not enough. We can never have enough cruisers. Actually, we do desperately need more cruisers because our current batch is severely out of date and some of them are even starting to go obsolete. So we've got some issues we need to resolve. But we can take care of that as soon as this war is over. Let's see, I forgot I was going to take a look and see what would it cost to take another territory. See if we can kick off an invasion of Haiti. How much is that going to cost? 4.2 million... No, we're not going to do that. We do not have the budget for that right now, so we will have to finish capturing Guantanamo Bay and then we can turn our attention to Haiti. Also, I have no idea if having two invasions on at once would slow things down. So I'd rather not 
find out the hard way. So we'll just move right along. All right, we have a battleship engagement, battle in support of land combat. I will, of course, accept. The U.S. Navy declines battle, good. We have a coastal raid in Maine. Huh, okay. I accept. Uh, and we're going to tell our land-based air to attack enemy ships near the objective. Let's see what we get. Okay, we have two cruisers and a handful of destroyers. Outstanding, looks like the new Lance class. Yep, a whole bunch of Lances. And Constance and Conquest. Ooh, our relatively modern ships. I say relatively because they're more not as obsolete as our other ships. It is late morning. Let's see if we can find something to sink before the daylight runs out. So we're going to sprint on over to Portland and see what we can find. Okay, we've got a report of a transport to the north. If we can't find anything else, we'll head over that way. And we have another report. Probably the exact same transport. Alrighty, let's move right along. Aha! We finally have a ship in sight. Well, there's a transport. Not for long. All right, and that is one transport sunk. Let's go see if we can find this other transport. All right, do I want to detach one of my cruisers? No, I would send the destroyer, but I'm not gonna send a cruiser. Not right now. All right, we've got another ship in sight. Let's see what we've got, multiple ships. Probably a patrol boat. No, that looks like destroyers. All right. We'll drop down to normal game speed and see what we can find. Destroyer, patrol boat, another destroyer. All right. Patrol boat is sunk. Objective complete. Let's see if we can knock down some of these berry class destroyers. And I'm going to host the flotilla attack so we can go attack maybe some of the destroyers after that other berry. We'll see what they target. It's up to them at this point. Alright, do we want to attach a destroyer to pick up survivors from the patrol boat? Sure. That's a worthwhile endeavor. Oh, and there we have... Olympia class ships. Let's see what these have. Four six inch guns, 30 knots, relatively small. How's our ammunition reserves? Looking good. All right, withdraw the flotilla attack order and let's go get these Olympia class. That is a more suitable target. All right, we are in range. Let's open the broadsides. Oh, enemy aircraft approaching Lasso. Well, that's rude of them. Trying to bomb my destroyer while it's picking up survivors. Huh. Oh, oh wait, okay. I almost misinterpreted that. I thought one of their bombers had hit the cruiser. That's not true. They got no hits. That was a six inch hit on the Constance. Failed to penetrate. All right, so we are at speed. Or at least we're working our way back up to speed. We are in range, so we should start getting some hits on them, hopefully. 
We do not have good position now. We do have number of guns on them. So that should help. And hopefully we have fire control on them too. There we go, starting to get some of those four inch guns in the action. Oh god, there's two more cruisers. Alright, we need to disengage. Turn north and run. And if there happens to be a destroyer in the way, well, so be it. We'll just have to run over that thing. Alright, we're going to zigzag a little bit. Throw off their torpedo aim. We'll see if we can get out of here. They've got a Baltimore class as well. Ooh, that's a nasty looking cruiser. Alright, order the flotilla attack. See if we can drive these things off. Oh man, that was a good looking torpedo sh I thought that was going to hit. There we go, looks like they've decided to turn and run. Or at least disengage for now. Well, hopefully we can get on out of here. Or at least get within cover of our friendly air cover. More enemy aircraft approaching the lasso. Patrol boat duck, variant C. Level bombing and no hits. Well, that's good. Yep, still got the flotilla attack going on. Come on, guys, please drive these off. All right, I'm going to pick up the speed here so we can get this fight over with. There we go, sling a few torpedoes their way. There we go, now they're starting to see stuff. Good job, lookout. Ha, watching that, there's no way I can say that there's not some sort of dodging parameter. Those torpedoes were about to hit and they turned. They clearly knew the torpedoes were on the way. I know people keep telling Tortuga it's not a thing, but watching these things act, there's no way it's not a thing. Alright, I'm going to pick up the game speed a little more, see if we can actually get out of here. Oh no, look out, don't head towards the coastal battery. All right, at least we've got cover of nightfall now, so hopefully they'll be able to get out of there. Land rail has been slowed down, so we're going to turn away. Hopefully she'll be able to break contact. How much time do we have left? Ooh, way too much time. Disengage! Disengage! All ships run away! Alright, this should be almost over. We're just going to run the clock out on this mission and call it to an end. Oh come on, we found another one? Run away. Well, I would hardly call that a glorious victory, but we accomplished our mission. All right. 
Well, they did get a bonus for sing for three surviving merchants, but since we accomplished our objective, we got a lot more points. No losses. We sank a corvette and transport. And wow, we actually inflicted heavy damage on one of their cruisers. Let's see, who was that? Okay, yeah, heavy damage on the Olympia herself. We got five medium hits on her. No torpedo hits, unfortunately. That would have turned things around very nicely. Lots of flotation damage. Okay, I wonder what we were hitting. So, yep, whole hit belt penetrated at 12,500 yards. Near miss, near miss. Critical hit, conning tower hit. Belt extended, belt, belt, all penetrated. Waterline hit, belt extended from a 4-inch. Wow, that went through like butter. Another 4-inch near miss, 4-inch belt extended, penetrate. So, yeah, the Olympia almost got sunk. No significant flooding, per se. I'm not seeing very many reports of limiting flooding. But she did lose most of her flotation. Other than that, nothing significant. All right, let's call this battle to a close. All right, major victory, one prestige, hooray. I don't think this is particularly worth a battle name. All right, our scientists report that they have suffered a temporary setback in figuring out the concept of improved hydrophones. I don't know if that's improved submarines or improved ASW, but either way, Nuts to that. Heavy fighting in Guantanamo Bay. Enemy fortifications are holding up our advance. How many times do I have to blow up their fortifications? We've destroyed those things three times already. Oh good, our minesweeper Queen Amelie has detected and swept an enemy minefield in the Caribbean. So that's good. And it looks like we are thwarting their raiders. Good, good, good. That is a lot of thwarts. Good job, fellows, thwarting the enemy plans. And, well, they did still sink some, but not very many. All right, and now we have more of our ships back. We've got one of our Iron Dukes, so that's good. We got back our both of our Hercules class. And we've got one more turn until the other Iron Dukes are back. Which means we are now ready and able to fight another major battle. Also, we now have the finances free to build another cruiser, so let's order that. Alrighty, one more Pandora class. I have no idea how to pronounce that. Let's see if we can get a different name. No. There we go. Forte. That's a name I can say. Alright. New cruiser laid down... HMS Forte. I'd better be good at that. If it's not, I will be disappointed. Okay. Let's see. How's our ship movements coming? America is still contesting the Caribbean. They've still got three dreadnoughts down here. But it looks like they've moved more of their ships up north. So we do still have a blockade on them going. I'll bet those three dreadnoughts down south are just the leftovers that are currently undergoing repairs. So they may have withdrawn completely from the Caribbean. If that is the case, I expect to see more ships heading up to the east coast next turn, at which point we'll need to respond as well. But we can't really do a whole lot right now since, well, the Iron Dukes and all of our other elite capital ships are, well, not doing so hot. They still need repairs. So we'll see how things go next turn. All right, we have a medium-sized convoy attack. I'm not particularly interested in fighting this right now. So I'm going to pass on that. Uh, this one, on the other hand, a convoy attack battle in support of land combat. 
Now that I am interested in fighting. It's medium sized, so I don't expect any significant capital ships, but we should see some cruisers and maybe some carriers in there. Let's see. Oh, nope, just destroyers. All right, objective is to sink six transports for a value of 800 points. Yeah. That is not a lot of points. I think I mostly need to sink all of those transports in order to get any sort of decent value. All right. So the time is just past noon. Let's accelerate to attack speed and let's get right on in there. See what we can do. All right. Enemy destroyer is approaching. Perry and Monaghan class. And we are already getting the first hit. Good shooting, guys. Oh, even better shooting. Magazine hit. And down goes the parry. All right, let's keep on going and see what we can find this convoy. That is, after all, the primary objective. And that looks like our convoy. All right. Onward. And upward. Alright, we'll order the flotilla attack and see what kind of damage we can get. Open the broadsides. Let's take a few shots at these things. There we go. Well, looks like they're mostly shooting up the transports. Oh, they're doing that with secondaries. Let's get some primaries on the destroyers. Ooh, my goodness, look at that. Wall of torpedoes. I hope that does some damage. All right, that's one transport, two transports. All right, we're gonna turn south, three transports. And the other group is going in from the south. You know what, I don't like that. I'm taking manual control. Let's form these fellows up properly and make sure that we annihilate those transports. All right, we're gonna take some evasive maneuvers here. So this one is going to be a turn together for one turn, just to make sure that we dodge those torpedoes. And we'll turn right back. And reform. How's that for dodging torpedoes? And meanwhile, all of our secondaries are working their magic on those transports. Ooh, and we got a hit on the Drayton class. Good shooting. Should knock that fellow out of the fight. Let's see, do we have any more? Okay, that guy is not in a position to fire torpedoes. That guy's looking not so good either. Let's see, anything else around here? Not that I can see. Let's circle the lead formation back around, mop up the ships in the rear, and we'll continue leading with the Goshawk, the, lar the longer line. There we go, more torpedo hits. How are we doing on that parry class? It's still going. You know what? Yeah, let's bring the main line around to face off against the parry class. And lead formation can go after the berry. Still getting more torpedo hits, so that's good. Pretty sure this convoy is gonna be annihilated, which is the objective. Okay, folks, can you please do me a favor and target that destroyer? Let's see, which one was it? This one? No. No, that's not the one I want. I wanted the berry. Here we go. No, not that one. This one? Yeah, this one. 
That's the one we want. All right, bring you guys north. Oh, we've got a Jenkins class down there. Ooh, that is an old ship. Should not be in the front lines here. I guess they're really scraping the bottom of the barrel. That guy's going to run into some trouble. And there it is. Three, four-inch shell hits him already. Followed by another three. Yep, that Jenkins is done. And I think these two destroyers here, the Drayton and the Barry, are also pretty much done too. Alrighty, we have sunk the minimum number of transports, so we've earned that piddling 600 points. Let's see if we can knock out that other Barry. That's only reporting medium damage, but he's also reporting 10 knots. Which means he's not doing good, and we can catch him. Alright, the southern berry is down. And we'll see if we can get a few more hits on this one in the north. Oh yeah, look at that. Now we're doing some damage. Uh, let's go back to the west or back to the east. See if we can corner this last destroyer. Oh, Gossok just got a hit. So that is unfortunate. That is the nature of war. And I think we have definitely done our damage. That said, I'm not going to lie. That was totally my fault. I knew that we were setting up for a possible torpedo. And, of course, the formation immediately scatters. All ships going to engage the enemy more closely. Well, at least the berry that torpedoed the Gossok is down. And the convoy is also destroyed. You know, I'm going to start putting these guys back on AI control so I don't have to worry about them. There we go. Wait, hang on, that's Drayton. That's not the one that I care about. That guy's already out of the fight. I care about the parry. There we go. All right, do we want to detach to pick up survivors? You know what? Yeah, we'll pick up as many survivors as we can. The fight is basically won at this point. It's just a matter of finishing off that last destroyer. Still scoring plenty of hits. Well, the firing won't stop until your ship stops. 
So just give it up already. There we go. All right. You can go back on AI control as well. Reform all of the fleet. And we'll just cruise right on through here and see if we can pick up any survivors from the area. I think we have successfully destroyed this convoy. All right, how much time do we have left? Oh my. Well, one more destroyer that's not sunk yet. Might as well go sling a few shells their way. And there we go, battle is over. We lost one destroyer, we sank 15 transports and six destroyers. If this level of support doesn't win the invasion, I will be very displeased. Because at this point, we've shut down every single convoy they've sent. We've destroyed their fleet multiple times. I don't know what it takes to finish an invasion. Major victory, one prestige, hooray. We'll call that the Convoy Battle of Windward Passage, hooray. All right, and we have gotten some performance data for the American fighter, North American Crusader. Huh. I wonder what that thing's capable of. Firepower 2, top speed 88, combat radius basically useless. Okay. And here we have some weight savings on hull, so that's good. Partial welding. And the Gloucester Company has developed a fighter as a private venture. Let's take a look at that. Okay, so this is a 1925 design. Wow, that is just completely not comparable. The Gloucester Gannet has nowhere near the speed nor the range of my Hornet D. I have no idea how the Hornet D is doing so well, but she is. And the Gloucester Gannet only has minor advantage in maneuverability and it's way too fragile not a good plane absolutely no th not a consideration there we'll stick with the hornet tried and true oh my god heavy fighting guantanamo bay enemy fortifications are still holding up our advance destroyer gary has been sunk by a mine on the east coast that is annoying, and we've got a raider sinking three merchant ships in Northern Europe, another one in the Caribbean. Come on, guys, whatever happened to all that trade protection? All right. We have our ships back. All right, I don't want to be dragging anyone else into this fight and resetting our victory points. Let's, uh, let's start dropping down some of our intel efforts. We do not need to be spending anywhere near as much money spying on France and Russia. And hey, that frees up some money. Oh, well, that's good. All right, I'll put that back on foreign station where you belong. All right, what else? We've got the money. I think it's time to order a new ship. All right, another cruiser. The Perseus. Aha, another name I can pronounce. That's always a good value for ship names. Okay, we need to rearrange things because I do not like how much they are rating. So we're going to take two ships from the Flora class and we're going to send those down to North American East Coast. Hopefully get a little bit better at intercepting ships. And we're going to take the other two Floras and we're going to move those, still on trade protection, down to the Caribbean. So that should help things out there. 
Let's see. And now we have the Lance class. Oh, good. We even have some on Elite. So that's good. Alrighty. Let's see, double check. Well, America is still maintaining a lot of forces in the Caribbean. And if anything, they are reinforcing it. And we still have the blockade on America. No idea how we're maintaining that with such a small force disparity. But we got them blockaded. Sounds good to me. Alrighty, on to our next turn then. Alright, cruiser action, battle in support of land combat. Small battle. Well, I'm hardly going to pass on any battles in support of land combat, because I want this fight to be over. U.S. Navy declines. Alright, and the Retribution intercepts an American raider in the South e American East Coast. We'll resolve that. And the cruiser escapes. Oh, our top spy has managed to acquire the knowledge of high-angle geared sight from the USA. That'll help our AA. And we still have heavy fighting in Guantanamo Bay. This is insane. And we lost the goldfinch. No, goldfinch. And the American Corvette has been lost. Uh, we're still thwarting the enemy plans, though, so that's good. Thwarting on East Coast, thwarting in Caribbean, thwarting Caribbean, thwarting in East Coast. Thwarting Caribbean, thwarting in East Coast. Good. We'll thwart those attacks. Alright. Germany is refitting dreadnoughts with improved director. I do not like that. Germany is most definitely gearing up for war with us. Well, no they're not. But they are our primary remaining threat with 20 dreadnoughts and 11 battlecruisers. That is a significant concentration of force there. And it would all be in Northern Europe. All right, let's see. What else do we have going on here? Dockside is still chugging along. Ship construction is still chugging along. Three turns and six turns. Submarine construction is still chugging along. All right. I can't really think of much else to do, so I guess we'll just move right along. Next turn. Here we go. Convoy attack. Battle in support of land combat again. This time it's a medium size. I accept. America declines. Cruiser action. Oh, it's an unexpected location. I didn't know we had any ships in that area. But if they're going to have a fight, then a fight we shall have. We're going to try and attack enemy shipping in general. All right, what do we have? We've got two cruisers and a handful of destroyers, Flora and Talbot. And it is early morning. Oh, good. And we are right near Airbase Nassau. Which means we have air support. Let's see what our air range is. Eh, not great, but we do have torpedo bombers in the area, so hopefully they'll be able to do stuff. All right. Enemy ship sighted. Let's accelerate and engage. There we go. Two ships. They're calling them heavy cruisers. All right, Denver class, eight five-inch guns. Hmm. Lighter guns than what I generally equip, but they probably have better fire control. Oh, that's not what I was looking for. They may have better fire control, and that would be bad. All right, there's also a Galveston mixed in there. 
Yeah, that's really not so great. All right, your formation. Let's change you over to support. Get you guys formed up for a proper torpedo attack. We'll try and keep this fight at long range where our heavier shells can tell against their armor. All right, there's our reports. Yep. They know where the enemy is. Now they just need to muster up the torpedo boats and send them on out. Yep, we've got the location. Now just rally those forces. Come on, guys. Send out the raiders. And it looks like those cruisers are not... Oh, there we go. Okay, they are in range now. Well, if they're going to keep on running like that, I'm going to see if I can pin them against the coast. All right, the torpedo bomber strike is out. We'll see if they actually find it. Looks like they're making a beeline. That is just what I wanted to see. All right, 18 Westland Wallers are approaching enemy ships. And it is time to send in our destroyers. While they're all milling around in confusion, We'll charge into point-blank range and see if we can use our larger number of guns and our secondaries to knock them out. Oh, come on, guys. Are you going to turn? I wonder what Forrester is doing. Did she have rudder troubles? Or was it merely a miscommunication there? All right, Galveston is in trouble. Whew, that was close. Almost got torpedoed by our own destroyers. And I see fresh torpedoes headed for the Galveston, so that should be knocking her out of the fight. See if we can close in on the Denver again. Ooh, that's a good looking torpedo. Whoops. Mind my zoom. There we go. Okay, no hits yet, but it looks like the line is opening fire. And yeah, we're getting some good hits. Four inch and three inch hits on the Denver. Okay, I think we've gotten enough hits on the Galveston. Let's shift our fire to the Denver. All right, nice to see a hit on the Galveston. So now we know for sure that she's sinking. Very much like to see, yep, another hit. Very much like to see a hit on the Denver. Oh, come on, guys. Target the Denver. You know you want to. Ah, nuts. Talbot is lost. Actually, maybe not. We'll see. She's close enough to home that she might be able to make it. But she's certainly in trouble for now. I'm going to tell her to hold fire. Send all crews to damage control. Yeah, that was probably a torpedo from the Denver. Slow down. Uh, 
And there we go. Battle is over. Well, we did lose the Talbot, but we sank both enemy cruisers. And those were more modern cruisers. All right. Not a battle I was expecting, but hooray, we won. Minor victory, gain one prestige. Battle of Airy Islands. Hmm, our top spies managed to get a hold of plans for the French Dreadnought Ocean. I feel like I've seen this before. Almost as though I've sunk this class of ship in the past. Alrighty, scientists have made unexpected advances in subdivision damage control. Don't they look happy? Non-flammable materials. Oh, that's kind of useful. That is a very interesting thing, comparing when you visit museum ships out in the real world, comparing the older museum ships to the more modern ones. Ships built around the turn of the century had lots of wooden structures like wooden cabinets and scroll work and various fancy things made out of all sorts of flammable materials. But on the more modern ships, like the World War II era ships, it's all metal, steel, and brass with, granted, lots of paint, which is also very flammable, but nowhere near as flammable as wood and a lot less flammable mass to begin with. So yeah, non-flammable materials, that's a very important development right there. Still having heavy fighting in Guantanamo Bay. They're still holding up our advance. And we still have the blockade going. But we're coming up on the 45 minute mark here. So I think we're going to have to call this episode to a close. We'll see if our invasion is successful in the next episode. Until then, I'm Katori87, signing out.